Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to week seven of my beginner's guide to mixed media and it's series class 21. So week seven, we've been all about the 3D media as I call it. So to round out this class, we're gonna go with some good old stickles. Um, now all the stickles that I have, uh, shameless plug coming, are sold by Close to My Heart. So I'll have a link down below if you'd like to pick any of those up. So we are going to play with coordinating colors. So I've got on the light end of the pink is hibiscus and on the dark end is pink taffeta. Then I've got two greens. So on the light end is cool mint. Dark end is just green. For my golds, I have goldenrod and platinum, which you'll see in my swatch book that the platinum really does kind of look like a um, dark gold. And for the black darks, I have black diamond and steel. So the dark is obviously the black and the light end is going to be the steel. And then for my blues, the dark end is going to be the ice blue and the light blue will be the waterfall. Now I do use these more than I use the perfect pearls, but not enough to, you know, buy them outside of the fact of the ones that the close to my heart sells because I can you know, sell close to my heart. So I have got my hip kit club and looks like I've put a hole in this bag. I'm just going to take some washi tape, you guys, and just seal this up. And when I'm done with this kit, I will dispose of this bag as well. It might hold. I have so many of these from um, Close to My Heart. Their products, their papers come in those. The hip kit comes in them. A lot of people use them, and I save them, and that's how I make my page kits or my other kits. So because it's glitter, I did pull out my uh, my glitter palette knife, which is very glittery, and I I accidentally <laughs> I used it for some Brutus Monroe glitter glaze, and immediately went to wash the stencil, and I forgot to wipe this down, so I am the it just scratches right off. But I've been getting glitter everywhere. So this is the April twenty. 21 hip kit. It came with my March hip kit and I've been working through trying to use up all the March products and have yet to play with any of this fun stuff. So we have the um, Prima Satan Crystals, um, the Golden Coast. So these are pretty. We have the Garden Party, which I believe is Maggie Holmes. So we have the Puffies, we also have the Coordinating Alphas, the Simple Stories um, Bunnies and Bloom Chipboard Stickers. So there are, you know, obviously some couple of Easter things in here, but I feel like not so Eastery that I can't use it for a different layout. Like the bunny, yeah, I mean, obviously he's the Easter bunny, um, but could just be a bunny in the yard, right? <laughs> and then we have these fun papers. So this one is um, Garden Party by Maggie Holmes. So beautiful stripe, fabulous wood grain. Uh, we have this kind of tone on tone teal. And this one is Amy Tangerine Breathe and Bold. Fabulous fussy cutting going on there. So you guys know I'm totally fussy cutting that out. Oh yeah, that will be a fussy cut. I feel like the paper should go this way. What do you guys think? This ledger paper in pink, and this is also Maggie Holmes' a garden party. These little bows. This is going to be a Maggie Holmes too. Yes, it is garden party. Cute little flowers garden party. Nice swish of ombre. Some like old school wallpaper looking stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That one is also from the garden party. Love that side. Uh, pink plaid garden party again. And this one is bunnies and blooms. Simple stories. This one is looking to be another Maggie Holmes. Yes, yes, yes. And last but not least, we have Heidi Swap Carefree Adore. So I am going to scrapbook this picture. And that is not the camera or your eyes playing tricks on you. This is my fiance's daughter. And she was taking pictures. I don't know if her friend is taking the picture or she has it set up, but it's like it it caught it perfectly at the crack of light at the, as the lightning crack because it was raining but the way that she did it on snapchat or whatever she was you know whatever they do it like filtered it so like it doesn't look like it's raining over here but it's i don't know it's just a really cool photo so we are going to scrap this today and once again we are going to use a uh, close to my heart white daisy card stock no gesso needed. Um, let's put all of this fun stuff over there. So I kind of gave you like a, you know, total showing of what's going on with my kids. I need my messy mat, which I just store my messy mat right under my other, <laughs> my messed up mat. Okay. So my idea is to do this today you guys make sure I have them in the right order obviously so we are going to kind of make them meet in the middle with the lights on the top and the darks on the bottom so we're gonna put these guys up here oh just an FYI I was finally able to get the night for the gloss sprays, so <laughs> I need to reorder a cheddar because like out of all of these, who would have thought that would be the color I most likely used? I don't know. All right, so let's go back here. Find our stickles section. And like I said, these are all the ones that close to my heart carries. And I do not put anything in between them, but as you see, this is the pink taffeta and the pink, so this would be the light to the dark. Then I have the cool mint to the dark green. Um, the gold, which I feel is lighter than the platinum. The platinum, you know, obviously has a little bit of gold tones in it. The steel, which is kind of a blue gray to the black, which I guess I could switch it out for the silver. I might do that. I might switch this one out for the silver, you guys. Um, because this is gonna have more of a blue hint to it. And then we have the waterfall and the ice blue. So that's just kind of how I just print this off of the Ranger website. Um, and ones that offer these, I have. A, and then. I didn't realize that Brutus Monroe had them, so I've got to go and get all those and print them out so that my my fun, fun stuff, which FYI, this is a new product that I don't have that I'm getting, Chroma Glaze. Oh, we'll be playing with that too. Okay. So, we know what we're doing with this, right? We are just going to push these all up here. And what do we got? One, two, three. We have five. I guess if we do one, two, three, four. Pretty much, right? So it's just gonna be one swoosh down, right? So I'm just gonna take this and now Stickles is gonna dry like that. It, it dries because it's got glitter in it, it doesn't dry so much. Um, puffy. And I'm just going to load up my palette knife. And I'm just going to run it along here. Uh, 
I need. You know what I need? Haha, -ha, I need my stamp it book. We don't want to waste it. Okay. And I'm going to do it one more time. And it comes out nice. <laughs> we are just, oh. All right. Wipe that off. Wipe my little block off. All right, that was the hibiscus. And yes, it's going to warp the page, but since, I don't know, it doesn't have, um, you know, it's not a lot of liquid, and I'm not looking to blend the colors. Now, this is the pink taffeta, so I don't, I'm not, that's why I didn't put any, uh, gesso on the page and I just want just to kind of give it just a little bit and we're going to go one more time and I know these bottles don't look big but there's a lot in there um now I wouldn't suggest if you're looking to go through a stencil like we did yesterday or do this a lot this is not the medium that i would recommend i would recommend you getting some texture paste or some glazes um because it's just it's not the media that it's not going to last forever um since i don't use these a lot and i'm just thinking it's just looking for something different to do in case you guys are like, what else are you going to do with stickles? Make dots. Okay. So now we're going to go on with the dark green. And we are going to pick up the other color, but it's not really going to matter, to be honest. We're going to get just a little bit more of this. I'm going to clean that off. Spit it around. And I will have to switch my rag after this because it's going to be full of that glitter. But we're just kind of doing just a, a weird rainbow. I threw the pink in there because we're doing Whitney. Now this one, ooh, this one's the cool mint. So what are you guys thinking of the 3D media? Do you guys like this? I was thinking pretty much everybody's got to have stickles, right? <laughs> like I didn't until I was like close to my heart representative. Um, but I had glitter. It, it, it reminds me of glitter glue. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the glitter glue. But yeah, like the Crayola glitter glue. That's what Stickles always reminded me of. And I'm like, well, I can get the glitter glue way cheaper. Yeah, I was like, you know, the cheap crafter. But now... I want all the good stuff, right? I'm just trying to fill in just that area there where it's like not hitting. This is basically just gonna be a really sparkly layout. I like sparkles. I feel like we need just like a little bit of green right here. Like that green is not mixing as well as I would like it to. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. 
Now we are moving into the platinum. So I don't know if it worked better doing it like this. I'll try both ways, right? All right. I just like mixed media, you guys. This one is going to be the waterfall. So I feel like I'm gonna go this route first. And then come in and fill in with the blue. <laughs> oh, I love making a mess. Okay. I always try to plan it out, but usually when it gets to the end, it's either bigger or smaller so I usually it's like the second the second one's the end I don't know if you've ever noticed any of my layouts are the ones that are like crazy big like really wide because I'm like oh no I didn't I didn't like measure it out enough now this is the ice blue just get that in there I can't believe we've been doing this for, this is the end. We're going into week eight and the class is over, you guys. I do hope that you, and oop, that was not good. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. I have definitely enjoyed playing along and seeing everything that you guys create and trying to keep up in the, the Facebook group with the comments, like, I always felt like I was missing something. So if I didn't comment on one of yours, I do apologize. Um, I did try. Oh, we're clogged. This is the only thing. This is the one thing that I hate. I need to unclog this. But I don't. I threw my needle away the other day. Hopefully that worked. That really did it. I think all I did was cut that. There we go. All right. Oh, so this is the only thing that I hate about these little bitty bottles. So I need, where's my pokey tool? Here's my pokey tool. Yeah, I shouldn't have put that in there because I split it. Okay. Hopefully that takes care of it, but I did just like totally woo in the bottle. And I've got glitter everywhere. Oh, glitter should be a lot. I do not like glitter, you guys. I like sparkly things, but I don't like this. Like, I'm going to be finding glitter forever. All right, wish me luck. Somebody took a shower. I wonder if that's my son. In case he comes and talks, you guys will know. Looks like my sign has worked. Okay. One more and then we will let it dry. Um, I do see the other good thing is like I see like right there there's not enough yeah I don't like the glittery stuff that the glitter like comes off 
not my fave which I don't know if this does but I mean I did like you know manhandle that lid so that was not the stickles' fault that's my son he's making himself a bowl of cereal he's being really quiet I love that kid And then this is the black diamond. And then we're gonna put this to the side and because it's a thin layer, it will not take as long to dry as like, um, if it was globbed in there. So, all right, we're gonna let it dry and I'll be right back. All right, how pretty and shiny that is. The only thing is, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to come off or not, so I'm kind of like hesitant. But I adore this fun background. I don't remember if I explained the photo. This is my fiance's daughter. Um, springtime, her and her friend are like, you know, Snapchatting or whatever they do. TikTok. And they caught it right as the lightning cracked, but it messed with the filter. So it's like this side actually looks like there's like no, it's not raining here, but it's raining here when in essence it's raining everywhere. But it was just the way the filter hit it. Totally dried all that out. Kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I am using my April hip, hip kit. Um, I did get my May hip kit. And it has a lot of the <clears throat> Wonders collection and the um, Buenos Dias collection, which you guys know I've been using both of them. So I did kind of pull it apart and throw all the, like the Paige Evans Wonders stuff in with that collection kit that I have. And the Buenos Dias by Obed Marshall, I threw those in there. Um, so, all right. So I'm going uh, yeah, and I pulled this. This is the uh, Maggie Holmes Garden Party. So we are going to put a tiny mat around this in the black with the little bows. I kind of went through the collection and grabbed all the pieces of paper that I'm like... I'm not going to use that in like big portions, just not in style. Uh, the ones that I'm like, oh, I love that. I, I mean, there was only a few of them. But, you know, we all have our own style. Thinking, but not out loud. So you guys have no idea what I'm saying. All right. So I do want... A controlled rip. I've been really into that lately. And so we're just going to do a controlled rip on this side as well. And by controlled, um, you know, I like so. I'm going to put that to the top. I'm going to grab this little tulip one because this is springtime and this is, um, both the uh, March and April hip kits um, kits were very focused on spring and Easter and uh, yeah I my kid is grown our kids are grown we don't do Easter and with COVID we didn't even see my parents like Easter's just not one of those big holidays but you know it's more of a if you have little kids type thing and I see my mom and dad all the time so I don't even need a holiday to go see them all right so I feel like we could probably do something like so okay just because I don't really want to keep the scraps and I don't see myself really using this piece on anything else. So we're just going to give a little bit of a border. Just 
just pull in some of those other colors. I don't. I know you guys. Some of you guys are like, oh my god. And I'm just going to run that right along the uh, middle there. Yes, I am. All right. a few days since I've worked on these because uh, I try to get as much done on the weekend as possible without letting the you know life interfere um, and I also try to do it when my fiance and son are at work because I hate to make them be quiet I mean I'm sure you can hear my fiance in the background he's not being very quiet anyway uh, but that's all right because he's cooking me dinner so I'm not going to complain about that Um, so this is, is through the week, so this is a different one for me, but I had actually started because he wasn't home from work yet, and my son was going to be leaving for work, but he's, Sam's really good at, like, when he hears me in here talking to myself, he, uh, he just silently walks through the house, but he's like a little ninja, you guys, like, my son is, like, when he's trying to be quiet, he's, like, super creepy, <laughs> and quiet. Now when he's in the room with his door shut and he's got his headphones on, yeah, the neighbors can hear him. Like me and my fiance, I'll start screaming and I get the top of our lungs to have a conversation and he's just like, I don't understand what you guys are doing. Okay, alright, so we are going to, I want to just put it right there in the middle. Also, Sarah Scraps is messaging me. We ordered matching t-shirts and she got hers and I'm super jealous because mine is like still a week out. So she definitely has some kind of pull with wherever we ordered our t-shirts from. <laughs> I told her life wasn't fair. All right. I know it's weird, but I am kind of matching that lineup right there. So it's like, these are the light ones, these are the dark, I don't know. All right, so let's pull out some of these. Ferris Spring. Themed embellishments. Now this is a garden party, I believe. Yeah, garden party, so it's the thickers that go with garden party. So, and then these are the cardstock, the 6x12 cardstock stickers that go with the Simple Stories Bunnies and Blooms. Well, it's Bunny plus Blooms, so I'm going to assume. So I think I'm going to, I wanted to use Spring somehow. Like sweet spring or hello spring. I think hello spring, because if you guys are in the Midwest, you know that our weather is unpredictable. It can still snow. And then like tomorrow it'll be 90 degrees. Today, you know, today could be 10 degrees, 50 degrees, tomorrow could be 90, 100, insane weather. Apologize for the noise. So, oh. Now he's going to start talking to the dogs, you guys. If you can hear him, he has forgotten that I am live record, that I am real time recording. I saw totally, no, okay. I was like, I totally just ripped that off of there. No, no, maybe I did. No, okay. I was like, oh my Lord, I don't know this through my own strength. The pit bull hangs out with him because she 
assumes that she's going to get something nummy to eat. But we don't feed them. He doesn't. He definitely doesn't feed her table scraps. Alright. So we got Sweet Spring as the title. And what else? Let's see what else is on here. I wish there was an umbrella. I feel like I know a collection that has an umbrella on it, but I cannot remember it off the top of my head. <sighs> All right. Let's pull in some of these fun flowers. I can use the flowers on her layouts without really feeling bad about it. Because like when I use them on the boys' layouts, I'm always like, oh, I feel kind of bad. But she's a girl. I'm going to put a couple right down there just to fill that little odd gap -a -rooney. I'm going to use up all the flowers. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to rip these, you guys. They are not very thick. Like, they are very... Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. I was kind of thinking that it was going to stay, but... Small up, make a little full cluster at the top. All right, so now I need to definitely come in and I need to refill my bottle here. We're gonna run out of glue. See, and these were super sticky, so that just goes, just shows you that. Mixed media, nothing is safe. See, it's it's really stuck on the paper. All right. So I'm digging that. Let's see what else can we put on here. Just a smidge of these little, just to bring some gold up here. or at all so I wasn't really thinking any of these are gonna go um, it's a totally different vibe and feel to it let me get the shoes happy on here somewhere I don't know what do you guys think let's just go for it Let me see what it looks like. I gotta put the lid back on this, otherwise, you know, we're gonna have some drying out. So, you know, I like it. Simple, but not. So, that's gonna do it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to share all your work over on the Facebook group. If you like to do this, go ahead and post it in the album section under the correct week. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Bye.